everyone, happy Saturday. It's Connor here, welcome back. I hope you're all enjoying your day so far and are having a great start to your weekend. It is time for the final weekly wax chat of 2023, where I discuss all of what I've been burning and melting and basically just what has been making my house smell good for the last week. So we're gonna be discussing all of the candles that I've been burning this week, all of the wax melts, uh, basically, yeah, just all of the scented things. So that's what we're chatting in today's video. Um, I cannot believe that 2023 is over. Um, I really enjoyed this year for home fragrance. I thought it was a really great year. Um, you know, obviously lots of hits and misses, but yeah, I thought it was a really fun year. So we're gonna close out pretty big because I have a mountain of stuff sitting right in front of me to talk about with you guys. So uh, yeah, this might take a little while because there's a ton of stuff. This wax chat video is gonna be a little bit different than the normal. Um, mostly I have like half burnt candles but in this video pretty much everything is emptied except for a couple candles but um yeah most things here are empties so it's kind of going to be like an empties video which speaking of my december 2023 empties will be up next week so um but yeah anyways there is a ton to talk about uh yeah i've just basically this week everything has been finishing christmas since that's basically what my goal has been i haven't started any like new spring scents or anything like that um i've really just wanted to finish up my christmas candles and i've successfully done that i actually only have a couple of christmas candles to finish and you'll see these in this video and then um i only have a couple left in my backups that are like my favorites um and this year i honestly only had like uh like less than 10 christmas candles left over so that's a pretty big uh deal for me because i think last year i had like 25 leftover ones so um yeah i think i did really good this year um one thing i noticed this december is i didn't overbuy, which i really am proud of myself of because i think last year i really just bought way too much which resulted in you know a ton of candles being left over and then i was also like burning so many trying to get reviews out um, but yeah, I really feel like I controlled myself this year. I didn't buy as many backups. Um, you know, I didn't necessarily buy my favorites. And, you know, that was hard not to get some of my favorites. But I think that in the end, it was worth it. Um, because, you know, I tried new scents and I still have some really nice holiday scents to talk about. So anyways, uh, let's get right into it. Definitely check out the description box down below. I will uh, put links for these products down there. Um, actually, this week I might do it a little bit different. I'm just going to put the website because I think most of these are probably getting to the point where they're sold out. Um, many of the candle companies now are doing their after holiday candle sales. So um, definitely hit those up if you're interested in any of these products. Some will probably still be in stock. Some will probably be out. Um, I know specifically Kringle is having some amazing deals. Uh, so definitely check them out. Um, I am an ambassador with Kringle and Homework. So you can use my codes to save some extra money on those websites. Um, with the sales though, you're probably not going to be able to use the code on top of that. So you can always try it. Um, you know, no hurt trying the code, but um, it usually doesn't work on sales that are really great but um yeah i'll link all of that down below um i'll also link down below videos to my candle crock 101 my candle lamp 101 and my candle hurricane 101 um those are all going to be really helpful if you're newer to home fragrance or if you just don't know about those products they are really helpful if you um are using candles more frequently and so um if you're interested in hearing more about those i'll put them down below i will be discussing them a lot so if you're like what is that what is a candle lamp um i'll leave those videos down below for you um but yeah that is all for the intro let's get right into it okay so what am i burning right now i'm actually only burning one candle right now and that is in the kitchen and it is yankee candles kitchen spice so kitchen spice is not a new scent but i had actually never tried that one before i believe it's been around for decades and i had never tried it um i got a lot of requests to try it though so i was like all right i'm just gonna go ahead and pick this up um the only time that i had ever seen kitchen spice from yankee is at walmart and it was in the original jar 
And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm not a big fan of the original jars. You guys know that. I definitely prefer the signatures. Um, but yeah, I never tried the scent. And then um, I work at Yankee, by the way, for those of you who are new. But um, yeah, we got some shipment of that one at our store. I think it's gonna be in the regular spring lineup this spring. Um, but yeah, we got it and we got it in the signature, which really excited me and that tempted me to buy it. So I bought a signature jar and I'm burning it right now in the kitchen. Um, I've actually been burning it all weekend. This is like my third burn now um, and I'm really enjoying it, you guys. I love the scent. It's, it's a really nice like spicy scent, but it does have that slight citrusy orange note to it that kind of gives it a little bit more sweetness. So it's just a really nice candle. Um, I do want to review it for you guys. So look forward to that. I think maybe that'll come out next week. But um, yeah, I'm really enjoying that right now. So that's going in the kitchen. I plan on burning that throughout January. I feel like that will be a nice like winter time scent. Because uh, I really I'm not ready for like florals yet. I'm not ready even really for fruity and citrus. I think in January, I'm really going to focus on burning more soft scents. I think like vanillas, lavender, cotton, um, you know, sweeter gourmands. I think like softer scents are going to be a nice thing to burn in January because it's just a transition out of those wintertime scents into, uh, you know, the more spring scents, which I'll probably start burning spring stuff in late January, early February, just because that's kind of how uh, candle reviewing works. You do have to work a little bit ahead of the season. But um, yeah, as for what I'm gonna be burning over the next couple of weeks, I plan on burning a lot more softer scents, um, you know, just trying to keep that cozy vibe going in my home. Um, but yeah, that's what's burning right now. Um, what is under my candle lamp and in my candle crock, um, it's actually the same as what's been going in there for the last couple of weeks, which is under the lamp, Homeworks Vanilla Pine. Um, I'm still finishing that one up. I did have to pour it off because that one was actually, uh, I hadn't even burned it before I put it under the lamp. I just put the full entire candle right under there. And so with the lamp, it does melt it in um, different stages. So I had to pour off the top half because I stopped smelling it. And so now it's working on the bottom half. So I should be finishing that one up this uh, weekend probably. So I'll probably wrap that one up. And then um, I actually have a few other things. I have like a whole list of things to lamp right now. Some extra candles that I don't really feel like bringing into next year. So I'm like, I'm going to finish these up here. So um, I'm going to put those under the lamp once that one is finished. Uh, but yeah, I like that vanilla pine. It's not my favorite, but uh, it's just like a nice, I guess, basic like vanilla pine scent, but it's, it's not really my favorite. I love to like mix vanilla and pine scents, specifically like this one right here. Uh, machine for Christmas. This is a great vanilla pine scent. Uh, but yeah, that one has a weird kind of like powderiness. It's not my favorite. Uh, I had to blind buy it on QVC, so I didn't really know. But um, yeah, that's what's under the lamp. And then in the candle crock is still the country candle uh, what's it called? It's the peppermint cocoa one. Yeah. Uh, that one's still under there. You guys, the country candles last forever in the crock for me. They are really strong as well. Um, a lot stronger in my opinion than when they are burning. And like, I hate to say that cause I would love to burn them, but if you are honestly looking for the best experience out of your candles, then you might want to invest in a candle crock because I really do think that you're probably going to get some better strength and throw out of some of the candles from the crock. So that one's in the crock still going. I'll probably finish that one up this week and then switch it out with something else. But yeah, it's been going for like a week and a half strong and it's doing really great in there. So that's finishing up in there. Um, and then again, if you don't know about those, I'll put the links down below so you can go watch those videos. Uh, but yeah, that's it for what I'm burning and what's uh, going in the lamp in the crock. Let's get into all of this other mess right here. Again, there's a lot of empties. So this is kind of beginning to be like a speed round. I'm just going to go through these kind of quickly because honestly, most of them I've been talking about for weeks and uh, I'm done talking about them. So uh, first here is my beloved Nest Holiday. I did finally finish this one, you guys. I love Nest Holiday. This is a staple for me during the holidays. It is a classic holiday scent. And to me, it smells like the holidays in a candle. Um, if I could only burn one Christmas candle, it would definitely be Nest Holiday. I just, I love it. Um, it's got 
It's got tree, it's got orange, it's got pomegranate, slight cranberry note, um, kind of woodsy, but also citrusy. I just love it. It's perfect. It smells like the holidays to me. Um, now, Nest is having their after holiday candle sale on nestnewyork.com. They have some pretty good deals on there. I think that it's like 35% off maybe on the holiday candles, which is a screaming deal for Nest. They don't go on sale very often, and they are obviously quite expensive candles. So this one's normally $80, um, but I think with the sale, this one is 60. So if you want Nest candles for the holiday season, in, my recommendation is shop them when they're on sale so they always do this after holiday sale so you can buy now and then save it for later and then um they also have like a weird like it's kind of like a semi-annual sale I guess they do like a random summer warehouse sale and um that's also a good time that you can buy them um but I don't know if they'll have them left over for the summer um so if you want some good nest holiday candles uh I would recommend buying them now and saving them for next year because um right now is the best sale that you can find them. Um, I was actually planning on shopping that sale, but then I actually decided not to because my local, uh, I have a local boutique that sells Nest, and um, I was actually up there the other day checking out their after holiday sale for Nest, and they actually were 50% off, which shocked me. Um, they only had two more of the Nest candles for the holiday, um, which I was like, I'm gonna grab these really quickly because I think that the others had sold out. Um, you know, if, if you see a Nest candle that's 50% off, I hope that you would grab it. Um, that's a great deal for Nest. Um, I've never seen a Nest candle on the website go 50% off. I think the highest that they go is 35% off. But um, yeah, I grabbed those Nest uh, holiday candles at the local boutique and um, I'm saving those for next year. So instead of participating on the website, I got those. And then they also sold um, a Times candle, Fraser Fur from Times. Um, I had never tried that one. I've actually gotten a lot of requests about it. A lot of you love to burn that one during the holidays. I've never tried it. Um, that's another like luxury candle company, um, but I've never gotten into it. Um, but yeah, I decided to pick one up. It was like a three wick of it and I love the smell. It just smelled like a really great tree scent. And so I bought that one. It's in a really pretty three wick jar and um, I plan on saving that one for next year as well. So I got some pretty good steals there. But anyways, that was a sidetrack. Um, point is, I finished this Nest Holiday Candle. Um, I love it. This one actually did quite well for me compared to many of the three wicks. Uh, most of them kind of get sooty on me. This one did didn't get sooty it did get punier wicks at the halfway point but um for me i love the scent it's worth it um it does suck i wish that they could work on the performance but i don't know i loved it so that is a uh, nest holiday um speaking of more luxury candles hold on i gotta pick this one up i did finish my capri blue uh fur and firewood uh, completely to the bottom. So um, as far as the burn on this one, it did quite well. Um, you are going to see some murkiness in that wax there. And I feel like with a multi-wick candle, especially at this size, it's going to get a little bit dirty. So I don't mind that. Um, as far as the strength and throw, this one fills up the entire downstairs. So I love that about this one. And for me, it's definitely worth the price. I would totally buy this again. It is 118 USD, um, which is definitely very pricey, but I think that it's definitely worth it. It's a huge candle, beautiful vessel, uh, three wicks, but I just think because it burns pretty well for me and the strength of throw is great and I love the scent, it just smells like a really nice tree scent. Uh, yeah, I think it's worth it. So I would definitely repurchase and... Um, <clears throat> I uh, definitely look forward to continuing to buy more Capri Blue candles in 2024. I'm gonna try and get more into those like uh, anthropology type candles. You'll actually see some Veluspa candles here in a minute, but I wanna get more into, um, sorry, I was trying to set that down without clinking it, uh, but I'm trying to get more into more like Veluspa candles, anthropology, Capri Blue. I'm gonna look forward to buying more of those in 2024. So. 
uh, yeah, finish that up. Speaking of Vespa, I did finish Gil Palmander and Hanoki. This is the small jar. Uh, I picked this one up at a little store uh, on a vacation this past summer. Um, for me, I, I don't know. I love this scent when I bought it, but then when I smell it, I'm like, I don't know. I don't really love this one as much as I thought I did. It doesn't really smell to me like a pomander scent. It to me smells honestly like a bathroom cleaner and it's like not an awful bathroom cleaner, but that's just really what I smell. Um, so I thought it was kind of perfect to burn this one in the bathroom. So that's where I burned it. Uh, for this candle, it's a one wick, a very small candle, very small opening. So I really didn't expect this to do anything in really any area of my house other than like a bedroom or even like a bathroom, obviously. And so that's where I burned it. Uh, would I repurchase this scent? No, I do love the packaging though. Like this is stunning. It's this really pretty embossed golden glass and it's mercury as well. It's so pretty. So I actually plan on saving this and I think I'm just going to put tea lights in here and then uh, next holiday season, I'll put it back in the bathroom. Um, honestly, you could probably use this glass any time of the year though, but it's just stunning. That's one thing that I love about Velespa is their glass work and their jars are just to die for. So finish those up. Those are kind of like my luxury candles. So those are done. Uh, let's talk about some Kringle because I definitely finished up some Kringle starting with Christmas lights. I did completely finish this uh, down to the bottom. I love this one. It's a really nice tree scent. It reminds me a lot of Kringle Christmas. So if you love that one, this is a pretty good dupe for it. The slight difference is this has a little bit more citrusiness and orange to it, but yeah, it's just a beautiful tree scent. Uh, performed pretty well for me. I would say it was like a solid six and a half, seven for me uh, for strength and throw. So yeah, I definitely love that one. Would love for them to bring it back. It was a really nice tree scent. Um, next up is Vintage Palmander, another new one that I love for this year. I did completely finish this one and I lost the lid, so it doesn't have a lid. But um, yeah, I love this one. This is a beautiful Palmander scent. This one focuses more on the orange than the clove. You definitely still get the clove in there. It's not missing. It's just definitely more in the background. And the main focus on the scent is the citrus, uh, which I do love that. I love citrus scents, especially during the holidays. I think they're so beautiful. Um, and this one definitely portrays that. So this is a beautiful scent. Um, a lot of you have been telling me that this one was really light for you. For me, I honestly got a pretty good strength and throw out of this one. It was actually surprisingly more than what I normally get for these two wicks from Kringle. Uh, my average for Kringle for these two wicks are usually between like a six or like a five and a half, like five and a half to a six and a half. That's normally what I get, but I feel like I got like a six and a half to a seven for this one. So I was quite satisfied with it. I do have a backup of it downstairs for next year. Um, and if you missed out on it, they do plan on bringing it back next year. So I love that one. Um, it's just a really great Palm Anderson. Um, this one I'm not quite finished with. I still have a couple burns left, but I do love this one. This is Cozy Christmas. I will definitely be finishing this one up this weekend. But um, I love Cozy Christmas. This is one of my favorite Kringle candles for the holiday. Probably my top three. Um, it's just a beautiful holiday, like tree citrusy scent. It also has a slight smoky, hearthy type scent in the background, which just really gives it that coziness to me. Yeah, it's just a really beautiful citrusy holiday scent. So that's Cozy Christmas. I love the label on this one. Uh, this was my backup from last year. I actually do need to participate in the Kringle after holiday sale because um, I need to get a couple of my favorites for next year, including Wishing for Christmas. I did finish this one off finally. Um, this was in the Country Candle Jar. This one is also available in the Mercury Jar right now. Um, as you can see, this one did get a little bit messy on me, uh, which definitely is upsetting, but I kind of expect that from the country candle jars. They just don't burn quite as cleanly as these Kringle jars do. Um, I know that country is fixing the wicks on these, so they're going to have, uh, I think smaller wicks at first, but then they're going to come alive more, but they're just not going to burn quite as 
uh, dirty. They're going to burn a little bit slower, I think, maybe. But um, yeah, I just think that it's going to help them to burn a little bit more cleanly. Um, yeah, I think that this formula is good. Uh, we still have to remember it's a new formula. They only launched these in this past spring, so um, it's still quite new. So I think that they're still trying to work out the kinks of it. But um, I love this one. It smells like vanilla and pine and cookies, and it's just so good. Okay, that is it for Kringle. Let's move on to Yankee, because I was burning quite a few Yankee candles this week, specifically in the three wick jar. I was burning a ton of them. So let's talk about these. Now, this is three cents, but I'm going to bring them all up together because I consider these one cent for me. Uh, it's these three right here. So it is the balsam and cedar, the crisp, sorry, sparkling cinnamon, and then let's not drop it. And then the last one is Christmas Cookie. This was a really cute uh, packaging like group, I guess. This uh, We've got Merry, Cheer, and what's this one? Jingle. So yeah, these are cute. Um, I love to burn all three of these together. You get that tree note from the balsam and cedar. So good. I'm actually not finished with this one. I'll still finish this one up. I'm going to put it to the side. I'm also going to put this one to the side so I can remember to finish those. But um, yeah, the sparkling cinnamon, I did finish. This one got a little bit messy on me at the end. These three wicks can kind of get a little bit out of control, to be honest, um, which I... It's, it's like a love and a hate because I love that the three wick like wicks can get big because you get that really nice strength and throw. But if the wicks are too big, then it's going to get a little bit messy. And so I kind of got that there. But um, yeah, I love this trio. You get the cinnamon and then you get the sweetness and the vanilla from the Christmas cookie, which I also finished this one burned quite well for me. Just a little bit of sootiness. But um, yeah, I love this trio. So, so good. Um, if you haven't seen the news, Yankee is changing their three wicks. Um, they are right now at an 18 ounce candle. So um do I have a Bath and Butterworks one? I thought I had one. Yeah, here's one. Um, so I think that they're the same height. Well, they're slightly smaller than the Bath and Butterworks ones, but they're kind of right around the same height. But obviously this Yankee one is a little bit wider. You can't really tell, but it's definitely wider than the, oh, I guess I could show you this. Uh, that doesn't really help. But this one is four more ounces than this Bath and Body Works one, but Yankee is going to be downsizing a little bit. So they're no longer going to be this 18 ounce style. They are now going to be the 14 ounce three wick. So it's like the same as Bath and Body Works, Goose Creek. Um, I think that a lot of people will probably not be happy about this just because you're losing four ounces. Um, I don't know what the price point will be. I think it'll probably be less, I'm guessing. I'm hoping they'll probably move it down to like 25 or 24. But um, yeah, for me, I actually like the change because for me, I'm like, it'll fit my Bath and Body Works candle holders. I don't mind this. Um, so I'm excited for it personally. Um, I'm really excited to see what Yankee has in 2024. Uh, I can't spill too much, but their spring collection looks really, really great, you guys. Um, you can find it in your stores now, actually. My store only has the... Uh, they only have the small tumblers, so I'm waiting for my store to get in the larger ones, and then I'll buy them, haul them, review them, of course, like I always do. But um, yeah, it's a really cool collection. It's like the Under the Desert Sun collection. There's um, a Stargazing, there's a Horchata scent, there's an Aloe one, and then there's like a Desert Blooms too. So yeah, there's some really great new scents. I'm really excited for Yankees 2024. Um, but yeah, anyways... I finished up those three and then continuing with the three wicks, um, I'm burning still this one. This is the Shimmering Christmas Tree. This is a new one for this year from Yankee um, and I fell in love. It's a really beautiful tree scent. It's a little bit soapy. It's just really, really pretty. I love this one. Um, then I finished Sparkling Winterberry from Yankee, another new one. This one is so nice. You get that really nice like fruitiness from this one. Kind of like the holly berry notes almost. Um, it's just really beautiful. I love this one. And then lastly for Yankees and Three Wicks, I did finish the White Spruce and Grapefruit, which this is a favorite of mine. Um, this is a really nice citrusy grapefruit scent with a slight tree note in the background, which you may think that doesn't really work well together, but it actually does. It's a really beautiful scent. So those three wicks did get finished. Um, most of them did well. The only two that kind of 
uh, had issues for me were actually these two right here. So the tree ones, which is interesting. They both got puny wicks on me, which maybe it's the tree scents because none of the others had an issue. You actually saw for some of them, the wicks were a little bit too big, but yeah, that was the only ones that gave me a problem. So, and of course, those are the two that I'm still finishing because when your wick isn't quite as big, the candle doesn't burn as fast. So still burning those. So I'm gonna keep those up there. Um, so yeah, those are the Yankee three wicks. I do have one more Yankee that I was burning and it is the classic jar Yankee home for the holidays. Uh, did finish this one. I love this one. You guys know that I get a really nice scent memory from this one. Uh, I just love this scent. It's a really nice, like spicier scent. It's just gorgeous for the holidays. Um, as far as the performance on this one went, it did pretty well. I got a little bit of sootiness there. Um, as you guys know, if you watch my channel, I don't love the paraffin jars really for any company, but I don't love the paraffin from Yankee. Um, I just don't think it burns quite as cleanly. Um, I don't get quite as well strength and throw as I do out of the soy signature two wicks. So for me, I just don't really burn them. So yeah, finishing that one up. Okay, uh, one lonely Bath and Buddy Works candle and that is the perfect Christmas. I did finish this one up. Um, I love the perfect Christmas. This is a really nice uh, scent. It's kind of like a mixture of tree, marshmallow, cinnamon. Uh, it's just really nice. I love this one. Um, so I finished this one up. I will say this one did give me puny wicks, um, which I kind of expected, but I honestly just kept burning it. I was like, oh, well, um, normally with my Bath and Body Works, when they get puny wicks, I throw them into a crock or under a lamp. But for that one, I just kept burning it. So anyways, and then I also have one Lonely Homeworks candle. This is Orange and Clove from Homeworks. I did finish this one up. I love this one. It's a really nice pomander scent. Um, yeah, just a really great scent. Uh, this was my second backup one. Yeah, this is my backup because I did get it in the duo. Um, but yeah, I love this one so much. I hope Harry brings it back for 2024 because it's a really lovely fall and holiday pomander scent. Okay, and then the last couple of candles I have here are different candles from companies that I don't talk about quite as much, but uh, the first two are from Friday Collective from Yankee. I did finish both of these holiday ones from them. The first one is Holiday Playlist. This was a really pretty, like, fruitier scent. It's got some raspberry. I think it had a slight... Uh, like citrusiness to it as well. Definitely more fruity. It doesn't necessarily make me think of like the um, the holidays, but it made me more think of like summer or springtime. I think the vibe of this collection is a little bit more fun. It's not quite as much like sophisticated. I think it's just better for like fun, more like fruity summery type scents. So I finished that one. And then I also finished Snow Day from Friday Collective. Um, this one smells more holiday-like to me because it has a peppermint note in here. Um, the peppermint is very like toned down though, so I wouldn't let the peppermint scare you away on this one. This is like a peppermint marshmallow scent with a little bit of like a tree note in the background. It's just really pretty. So that was Snow Day. Um, I did just do a video on these a couple of days ago on my thoughts on this collection. Um, right after I did the video, the Yankee Candle semi-annual sale started, and I saw that those are now 75% off. So um, that, that makes me think that they're probably going away, to be honest, which I don't feel like they ever really like went in. Like they never really kicked off, I feel like. Um, I really like the collection. I actually think that they're really cool. Um, I like the look of them. I think they have some really fun scents. Uh, the performance needed a little bit of help. Um, I think that it could have used a little bit more strength and throw. Um, even in my bedroom, the three wicks were kind of lighter, but um, yeah, I liked it. But if you do like those candles or you do want to check them out, now would be the time they are 75% off. So act quickly. Okay, and then these last two here are from Valespa. I actually bought these a couple of months ago at Anthropology. That's where I get my Valespa candles if I don't buy them online. Um, and I was just really interested in both of these scents. And so I've been burning them and I actually have uh, two reviews. These 
these will both get reviewed. So look forward to these in-depth candle reviews coming tomorrow. Sorry, these lids are like glass, but they're stunning. They're really pretty. Um, the first one is Golden Amber Sunset. Can we focus? Yep. Um, this is a really pretty, like, perfumier, amber ambery type scent. Um, I love amber. I think it's a really beautiful fragrance, and I love the amber that I get in here. It's so pretty. So, uh, yeah, I've been burning this one. I don't want to talk too much about the performance, because, again, I'll have the reviews up tomorrow. So those reviews, I'll go in-depth into the scent, strength throw, performance, burn, all of that. And then the other one is Scarlet Berry Pomander. This is a really pretty scent. Um, to me, it doesn't really smell like a pomander. I will say, when I think of a pomander, I think of an orange pomander, but this one says Berry Pomander. And I would definitely say I get the berry in here. Um, but I will say, it's a little bit perfumey, and in a way, it kind of reminds me of the Ariana Grande Cloud Perfume. If you know that fragrance, this definitely smells kind of similar. That one is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540, so if you like that kind of fragrance, there's a lot of dupes for it. But if you like that scent, um, I think that this uh, Scarlet Berry Palmander is a good candle dupe for it. So yeah, I love this one. It's a really pretty scent. So um, I'm not sure if these are still available now. They are exclusive to Anthropology, so you can't get them online anywhere, but if you do have an Anthropology near you, you can probably find them there. And you may even be able to get them on sale um, at Anthropology because they're probably having their after holiday sale as well. Um, how much did these retail for? They are 34 US dollars, so um, yeah, you could probably get a pretty good sale on these at Anthropology. And that is all of the candles, you guys. Well, technically not, because I do have these, so let me talk about these real quick. Sorry, this is a longer one, you guys. Um, I've got some daylights here from Kringle. Um, I found these in my collection, and I was like, I should burn these now, or they're not gonna get used. So um, I pulled out these daylights. These are new scents from Kringle that I didn't buy in the full size. They were new ones for this year, um, and I just bought them in the daylights, so. Uh, let's quickly go through these. These last about 12 hours, by the way. I burn them all in my bathroom. I think that they really only work in a bathroom. I would not burn this little candle expecting it to fill up the entire house. It just doesn't really do that. Um, but for the bathroom, these are actually really great, and they are a great way of trying out scents if you're not sure if you're going to like it. So you can get this little $5 daylight here and not commit to a large jar. So um, the first one is Holly Berry from Country Candle. Um, this is a really pretty scent. To me, it doesn't actually really smell like holly berry, um, or maybe it's just not the holly berry that I know. Um, I think it smells more fruitier than tree smelling, and when I think of holly berry, I get more of that like kind of like a wreath smell. But yeah, it's actually really pretty. I did like that one. I wouldn't mind a jar of that one. Uh, white chocolate cheesecake. This was nice. This was kind of like a... I don't know. It doesn't really smell like cheesecake. I smell mostly graham cracker crust. That's honestly what I smell in here. It's like a sweet cracker scent, but then you definitely get the like white chocolate vanilla smell in here. Uh, kind of like the filling, I guess. But yeah, this was pretty sweet gourmand. Um, crinkle cookies. This one, um, there were a lot of people saying that they love this one. I agree. This is quite nice. This is like a cocoa scent. To me, it actually kind of smells like an Oreo. Um, Kringle actually did a cookies and cream scent this past uh, spring, and to me, I didn't love that one, but I think that this one is quite good. This is what the Oreo one should have been. It's kind of like a chocolate cookie scent. It's kind of like a lighter gourmand, but it's, it's really delicious. I also think that this one would be good for after the holidays, so anyways. And then the one that I did not like was this one, and I knew I did not like this scent before I even bought it, so I knew to get it in the daylight and not in a jar. And that is the uh, Reindeer Beer. This one for me, oh, I do not like this at all. I can't even smell it. This smells like root beer, and I don't love it, so I'm not even gonna talk about that one. <laughs> and those are all the candles. Okay, let's wrap it up with wax melts. Um, Starting off with the two Scentsy Bricks, I did finally finish these. They took a while, but I finally finished them. Very Snowy Spruce and Christmas Cottage. Uh, Very Snowy Spruce is a really nice like spruce tree type of scent. Really great for the holidays. I love this one. And then uh, Christmas Cottage from Scentsy as well. This is a little bit more of like a fruity scent. Um, 
It's got some raspberry, some strawberry, kind of like some of those cranberry, holiday berry type notes. Really, really nice. And then uh, I also have some other, or Scentsy, yeah, Scentsy, I almost said Nest. This smells like Nest uh, holiday. This is sugar plum berry. This is what I melted on Christmas Eve, by the way. I love this scent. This is a really nice dupe for the Nest holiday. So if you've always wanted to try this and you want it in a wax melt, uh, Sugar Plum Berry from Scentsy is really good. I do believe that this one is going away on the 31st. So you only have like a day left to get it. So get it now if you want it, put it in your club, whatever you want to do. But um, yeah, this is really, this is really nice. It's kind of like a citrusy tree scent. Um, I love this one. So that's Sugar Plum Berry. And then uh, I do have some Yankee melts here, two Holiday Zest here. I love Holiday Zest. This is Yankee's Palmander scent. It's an orange clove scent, classic for the holidays. I love it so much. Don't ever get rid of it, Yankee. It's definitely one of my favorites. Um, it was on my favorite uh, holiday scents from Yankee. So this one is definitely a favorite of mine. Also on that video was white spruce and grapefruit. I did finish two of these. This is really nice. I also love to have this one melting like during the week of thanks or sorry not thanksgiving new year's eve um this one is a really good new year's eve scent because it's like a citrusy one i can't get it to open there we go uh yeah i love this one it's kind of like got that grapefruit orange citrusiness to it and then with like a slight tree note in the background this one's really nice and then um, I do have a milk cup of the balsam and clove. I actually didn't even use this as a milk cup though. I use this as a centerpiece and um, yeah, I just cut this up as my, um, in my wax melts. Yeah, I love this one. This is kind of like a tree scent with a little bit of like a powderiness in it. It's really pretty. I love this one. And then last but not least, I did use a uh, Yankee Candle Balsam and Cedar. This one I actually did use as a melt cup using my centerpiece warmer. What I did was I actually put um, the centerpiece warmer behind our tree that was right here. And um, I put this in there and it actually made it smell like an authentic Christmas tree. I can't really smell this anymore because with the centerpiece warmer, the fragrance does go away. But um, yeah, I love that one. So. Anyways, guys, that is it for this week. I know a ton of stuff. Sorry about the long video, but um, yeah, we went through a ton of stuff. Uh, happy last chat of 2023 for, you know, home fragrance. Um, I'm really looking into 2024. I'm very excited. I'm definitely going to keep this series going with my channel. I love to do this video every weekend. It's really fun to do to just kind of talk about all of the candles that I've been burning, the wax melts. So um, yeah, anyways, let me know what you were using in Home Fragrance this week. I would love to hear it down below in the comments. Um, check out the description box. I'll leave a lot of good links, details, and information down there. So check that out. But um, I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend. Look forward to those candle reviews tomorrow. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.